I can remember as clearly as day, when I was 14 at high school, I walked into the classroom to a situation where one boy had got a knife against another boy's throat. And he told that boy, get down on your knees, lick my boots and call me sir. And just out of sheer instinct, I marched over, took the knife from the first boy, helped the second boy up, and I stood up for him, and I protected and defended him against the first boy. And from that moment on, I've just always known I've had to stand up for the underdog, protect the vulnerable, stand up to bullies. And that's something that I've carried through with me ever since, really. I decided I'd like to become a policewoman and I achieved quite a senior rank with a lot of responsibility within the arena of public protection. And that's something that's very, very dear to me, to be able to make a difference to people who are unable to make a difference for themselves, really. Coming to Hope for Justice, for me, it's almost coming back to my grassroots level again, really, because now as an investigator and someone who goes out on, on rescues, I get to see the harsh reality and I get to meet the victims. And it's profoundly, profoundly moving, I have to say. I can tell you about a recent rescue I went on which involved a lady. She came here with the promise of a job, of accommodation, of college course, of sorting out work permits, promise of everything really. And of course it was all a lie. Her conditions were horrendous, she wasn't allowed out of the house. And during the time that she was here, she met a male who subsequently raped her. And as a result of that rape, she became pregnant, then went on to have a child subsequently, a little boy. Some time went on and she realised that she couldn't sustain this for herself, let alone a son. And um, she contacted Hope for Justice. And she did that by email. And it literally said, can you help me? And then she wrote again and it became apparent that there was just one opportunity in the week that we could go and rescue her and her son. So we literally drove up, got out, I walked towards the door. This woman came running in, fell into my arms, sobbing. And then just peeping from behind her was her little son. And I just grabbed hold of her and I said, you're safe now, come on, come with me, you're safe. And then we whisked them away, they were rescued. The work I do now has rocked me to my core. I still really can't quite believe that humans treat other humans in the way that I've been told. Globally, there's 21 million people now living in slavery, 21 million people. I personally have been on upwards of 50 rescues. Every little piece of a jigsaw makes the picture whole. I fervently believe we can achieve our mission. A movement is a group of like-minded people striving to achieve the same end. And that end is to live in a world free.